I bought some stuff to flip. That's the art of flipping or the game of flipping is you buy low, you flip it high, and somewhere in the middle of all, after everything's said and done, you pay your bills, you make some money, and you stash some cash. And that's it, and you're just happy. Uh, if you're new to my channel, my name's Todd the Flippin' Hustler. The reason I call myself that is because I go to garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores. Today was a thrift store. And I look for stuff that I'm gonna, I can make a profit on, you know? So you buy it right, and then you flip it on eBay or any other platform. I only flip on eBay myself, but there's Macari and Etsy and all kinds of stuff, right? So personally, I'm an eBay guy. I, we have currently uh, just over 1,400 active, close to 1,500 active. Uh, we ship out five to 20 a day. You just never know. It's you never know what's going to happen. You just keep working and you just keep making money and and you just live your life. I got way off subject. My name's Todd, the Flipping Hustler. I buy things to flip. I do that on eBay. <laughs> Here's some of the stuff I bought today to flip. I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera down so you can get a good look at it. I bought some of this stuff, uh, a couple things similar to this last time we went there. And so this time I said, you know what? I'm going right to that department. I'm going to buy as much as I can of this stuff because I just shipped out or I'm going to be shipping out uh, a pair of these right here. I'll just start off right here. These are uh, men's. These are Easton extra large. Uh, looks like baseball pants. They have an MSRP of what? I don't even know. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't say, but they're new tags. Um, the last pair I sold were a youth extra large for 14 bucks, but I paid a buck for them, right? So this is a, a min, so this could be like 19 bucks. So right there. And then here's a little bit smaller pair. This is a size large. Uh, and these are a different brand. These are Wilson. These are originally 21 bucks. And they were a buck, but they look very similar. Here's some A4. These are youth. These are Easton's, the black stripe or navy blue stripe. So there's another buck. Now, some of them, like this one, they were on the bottom of a, a bin, like a, a cardboard box, because it came from a big truck sale, I guess. So some of them were dirty, and I'll just put that in the listing. No big deal. Here's some uh, Rawlings, I believe these are. Is that what that is? Yeah with tags, these are men's, size large, semi-relaxed fit. You know, for baseball, softball, whatever. So a buck a piece for those. These were also a dollar, men's football pants. Those are two XLs. Here's another pair, with the, and they have tags on them. MSRP of 40 bucks. Three XL, paid a buck for those as well. Here's uh, another pair of men's, uh, what would those be, ref pants or something? I don't know. They had a tag, but they're dry fit, something or another. Extra large Nike for a buck. Here's some Mizio. So this is basically what I, I'm going to be sending off. Uh, they're gray in package, and they're similar to these for 13 bucks. but pick them up for a buck. That's the way to do it. Okay, so here's a little story, guys. So I'm walking around the thrift store, right? I'm walking around, walking around. I keep my eye out on everybody. And I see this lady and she has a cart full of t-shirts. And I was like, hmm. And I started watching her and she's going through the t-shirts. And I thought, hmm, she's got a good eye. She's got a good eye. So I watched her for a little bit, you know, kind of not, not creepily, but like I'm looking at my products, stuff over here and she's over here and I can see what's going on. So then she takes off. I'm like, all right, well, whatever. She's leaving, so that's cool. So then I go and I go back to look at t-shirts because I want to pick up some t-shirts, right? And there she is. And I see she's putting some of these shirts that she was flipping through back, right? So obviously she looked at them, put them back. She didn't want them. I said, you know what? Can I take a look at those shirts before you put them back? I see that you've got a good eye. I did that. I, I said, hey, excuse me, ma'am. I see you've got a great eye. Can I please take a look at those shirts before you put them back? I might want some. And she's like, sure. So I looked at a few of them and I was like, eh, 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 eh. And I, I put them back, right? but I at least wanted to be considered. So a little bit later, like five, 10 minutes later, I'm looking through stuff. She comes over and she goes, hey, I've got some of these other ones. You wanna take a look? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So then we start talking. She goes, you're a reseller. And I said, yeah, how about you? She said, yeah. And I was like, hey, that's cool. And she's a YouTuber to boot. So I'll put her link 
in the description below. And our name's Tracy. She's got a small channel, just started out not too long ago. Looks like she makes custom cakes, so that's pretty cool. Um, so anyways, there was a few shirts that she had that she didn't want. That thought, you know what? I like those. I think I'll go ahead and grab those. So um, I went and go grab those. So let me just say it was very nice to meet you today, ma'am, Tracy, at uh, the thrift store down in DL. It's always nice to run into a fellow flipper, let alone YouTuber, hey? So here it is. Uh, here's one of the shirts. I believe this is the Punisher. It's got a Marvel. It's, it's not old, but it's still cool. The Punisher, Marvel. So that was, I believe, three bucks, three ninety nine, something like that. Here is the Bone Collector, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> this one, she looked at it. I looked at it. We hemmed and hawed, and I said, "Ah, do you want it?" She said, "No." And I was like, "Are you sure?" She said, "No." And I was like, "Okay, well, I don't know if I do either, because I'm really not into skulls, and I try not to buy junk like this. But you know, ah, what the heck." So I went ahead and got it uh, because it has an autographed here and then it has a bunch of autographs across the back. Now, unless I can authenticate the autographs or figure out who's who or what's what or put these autographs to when this was, I'm thinking it'd be like a, a wrestling thing or a fighting thing or something. I don't know. I'll look it up. But anyway, there it is. And then this one right here, I recognized it says community. And then I looked right here and I said, hey, that's Dan Aykroyd. So that's off of, I believe, Netflix or something. But this has a 2012 date on it. It's on a guild and tag. So that's kind of cool. Here is a Stone Temple Pilots. I believe this is a repop. I mean, it sure looks like a repop. Yeah, it is. This tag is, what, Anvil or something? Not a single stitch, but still a cool shirt. Stone Tip of Pilots. If you made it this far into the uh, video, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for sticking around. If you're into buying stuff for three bucks and flipping it for 25 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever, or whatever. Now, we're going to do a little poll here. Stone Temple Pilots or The Doors? Leave that in the comments below if you made it this far. Stone Temple Pilots or The Doors? Personally, I'd have to say The Doors. I thought this was kind of cute. <laughs> Selfies. Isn't that funny? Yeah, Empire State Building. Size small. I might wear that. I don't know. It's kind of funny. Okay, back to these pants. Here's some uh, Easton's for a buck. So that's pretty good. Here's another pair of Rawlings. These are some men's, what, extra larges. Right there for a buck. These are called Dolphin. They are swim trunks, apparently. Little teeny tiny, tidy, whitey, tidy. I don't know, size 26 it says. Anyways, I have no idea how much they're worth. But I, they were in that thing for a buck. I thought, you know what, for a buck, we'll try them. So I grabbed them. Uh, now here, is, I saw this hanging there, and I thought, wow, that sure is a bright-looking shirt. Oh, it's a pearl button shirt. Okay, so it's a hot pink with white pearl snaps, and it's on a vintage tag made in USA. So I was like, you know what, there's going to be some person out there that's going to want a hot pink white pearl snap button vintage tag made in the USA. Yeah. So there it is. It's pretty sweet. <clears throat> what do you got here? And I found two of these different styles. They're from 1993. Uh, Sounds of Power die cast. So they're trash trucks. One of them still works. This barely. I'm surprised it does. Because they're from 1993. <laughs> so those are pretty cool. Saturday about those. 
This is all over the place, but I usually pick up these handheld games, and this is something that a person who's just starting out, you know, if you're just thinking about getting into reselling, you're like, you know what? I'm not trying to spend five bucks on a shirt to make 15 bucks. That's not, I, I'm just trying to start out. Where do I go? Where do I buy just to start out? You can start out buying electronic handheld games. Why? Because you can pick them up for 95 cents, 90 cents. This one was 99. You could get them at garage sales for 25 cents. Just check them out, you know, make the, sure the batteries are good and, uh, or, you know, that it doesn't have corrosion back there. That's the main thing, no corrosion. Um, and you can buy them for 25 cents and sell them for between seven and 50 bucks, just depending on what you find. Um, this one right here is all over the place. I paid 99 cents for it and I looked it up and there were some crazy prices out there and then there's some average. Average would probably go for 15 bucks is what I'll get for it. But a dollar into 15. You do that a bunch of times and there you go. Here's the Deluxe 3x5 flag. World Series 2019 premium quality fabric, blah, 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 blah. Originally was 29 bucks. I got it for a buck. This was a buck as well. These are what? Ankle stability, stability system, whatever. It says truckload 29, but they're actually a buck. Here are some bionic gloves, fingerless. So I don't know if that's weightlifting or bicycle riding or just looking cool. Don't know. Okay, now last time I went to the store, I picked up a bunch of these. And uh, this time I thought I'm going to buy all of them that I could find. So I did. I scoured through and I got as many as I could find because they were a buck pop. How do I say no to a dollar for hats that have a tag with the MSRP of 14 bucks, right? I mean, it's like, duh. So there you go. There's one of those. Here's one that's a little bit different style. It's a stretchy fit. This one has a $20 MSRP. Here's a, looks like an American flag, but instead it's got fishes and hooks. Trucker, oh, it's actually a stretch, stretchy back. Some blueprints, you know, and the reason I got so many is because A, a dollar, how do you not? But B, it's a list and go, man. How many do I have? Multiples, we'll see. You list one and then you put them up there and then you don't worry about it. All you have to do is ship, 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 ship. And golfing season's coming up. Just another prints. These are all gonna be prints hats. Just different colors and styles and whatnot, but there's 20 bucks. And these are all a buck pop. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Here's something different. Uh, home state where you belong. What state would that be? Louisiana or something maybe? I don't know. Home state where you belong. What does home mean to you? Blah, 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 blah. $24.95. It's crap. A buck. So this blue one, a buck. Some of these, a buck. All right. I picked this up by accident. I was going to put it back, and I left it in my cart and ended up picking it up. So it's a uh, Field and Stream Electronics Caddy. It's three and a quarter inch. Uh, says no tools required. Can be removed and reapplied. Includes two large suction cups. I uh, You could use it for just about anything. Yep. That's that. All right, so then in this box with all this other stuff that was a buck were these, and they're a buck. And I was like, how can these even be in there? Frog togs, <laughs> don't know anything about them. And I looked on the side, right? I looked on the side and it says uh, $59.97. These shoes, right? No, they're not identical, but I was like, okay, they still says frog togs. They're women's. Uh, all I know is that says 59 bucks or $79.99. And I picked them up for a buck. They're for fishing, I guess, in the river. Probably in the river. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, a buck. So, 80 bucks. They're brand new. I paid a buck. If I put them up there for 45 bucks, maybe? I mean, I'm going to have to really, really do my research. But I thought for a buck, there is no way I'm even going to take the time to look them up. I'm just going to buy them. Because, yeah, it just makes sense. Whoa.
and they're in boxes, so that's the idea they're durable. Here's a size six, also 80 bucks. Waiting boots, synthetic leather, rugged nylon, exterior mesh, green interior, something or another. Heel and toe PVC, padded color for comfort. Angler wading shoe felt. So yeah, they're for fishing. And those are in there. Those are the, those are the same ones. So yeah, a buck. Yeah, that's the ass gourd. That's the ass gourd. I woke up this morning, my wife's like, do you want to go check out the thrift store? I'm like, yeah. She goes, do you want to go to West Fargo? I'm like, no. <laughs> She's like, well, we go to that one all the time. And I said, I know, but they bring new stuff out all the time. So I prefer that. Maybe next time. Uh, here's another pair of these. It's another size six. Sticky rubber sole is what this one says. But that is not what that is. So that's a little bit different. Huh. Either way. They're filled with stream, they're nice boots, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get some cash out of those, especially buying them for a buck. So that's the key in this whole game of flipping. It's not about spending $500 to make some money. It's about trying to find the best deal and turn that $1 into $40. Then take that $40 and buy another couple some things for some good money, right, some decent money, and turn that into Whatever, whatever. So that's that's how it goes. All right. Here's I had to hit on this man because I remember these from when I was a kid. Whoever had one of these was super duper cool. But it is a vintage bag phone. I'd say this is probably from the mid '90s. Probably mid '90s. It's a Motorola. And so I did go out in the car and plugged it in, and it does illuminate. Doesn't have service obviously, but it illuminates. And this was five bucks. And this should bring about 50 bucks, you know. So five into 50. So we'll do that. Now who would want something like that? Jeez, man, people making movies, people that just want to collect. I mean, there's who knows why people buy stuff sometimes. I don't ask why. I just buy it and then flip it. Alright, so this is one of the things that Mrs. Rendon found, my wife. Uh, it's a vintage Sunbeam food processor. <laughs> she goes, check this out. She brings it over to me, and then she uh, shows me her phone, the comps, and yeah, I was like, all right, cool. It's like sixty-five bucks. So that's nine bucks right there, eight ninety-nine. But yeah, it's like sixty-five bucks. So we'll we'll take that. And then it looks like, last but not least, is this steering wheel. It's a NASCAR steering wheel, Logitech, and that was $9.99. And I'll have to plug it in, test it out. It looks like it has a couple different plugs here. Uh, one for a computer or a PlayStation. So I'll plug that into my PS2 and give her a whirl. Or maybe, no, that doesn't go there. That plugs into here. Yeah, that's for the pedals. Never mind. This is for a PlayStation. Duh. All right, so yeah, it needs to be cleaned up. It's not too crazy uh, money, but uh, it'll work. It'll work. And like I said, I think, uh, I don't know if I said my last video or what, but I'm trying to get more into video games, get some stuff set up, some more systems so I can test some more things. I'm trying to take things in different directions. I'm going to be doing a trade with uh, one of my fellow local resellers. I'm um, trading out two IKEA bags full of clothes for a bunch of electronics. And the stuff that I'm trading to her is like, um, I know there's a Robert Graham in there. There's a bunch of Polo Ralph Lauren. There's good stuff. It's quality stuff. So I'm excited to uh, do that trade so I can get some electronics and video games and whatnot. So that is it. That's my haul. So today I spent a total of, total of $124. One twenty-four thirty-two, and that's that. So one forty, one twenty-four thirty-two, forty-seven items is what it says. So let's do the math real quick. Let me grab my calculator. One twenty-four, oops, one twenty-four divided by 
47 brings it at two dollars and 63 cents per item on average yeah that sounds about right so there you have it guys i uh, appreciate your time make sure you like comment subscribe and yeah i'll see you in the next video leave a comment if you have any questions about how to get started or what you want to do or should do or whatever but basically what you're gonna get to me is a start do your research set up a system ask questions and uh it's gonna take time you'll have to stumble through until you figure it out so anyway i'll see you guys in the next video peace